So hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Beat10x and I hope you all are doing really well. Till now we have seen a lot of AI tutorials and we have done a lot of work on various different AI tools. But today we are going to talk about that how we can create an AI quiz in PowerPoint. And before doing that, I just want you to know that if you are interested in AI tools workshop, we have that available just for 9 rupees where we teach you about a lot of AI tools. Ahead in this video there are more details about that and the link is in the description if you want to check that out. But let's start the video without wasting any time further. Want to nail the next presentation at your office? Yes, it is possible if you start integrating chat GPT and AI tools in delivering your presentation and making your presentation as well. So if you want to take your PowerPoint slides and get AI generated quiz questions from them, this is the right video on which you have clicked on. Because today I'm going to show you that how to do just that and you can get the high quality quiz questions based right off your PowerPoint slides. And you can use this to check in and test your audience understanding as you are presenting which will not increase only your audience engagement but help them learn the material. And it's also helpful while you are in a meeting it makes the other people very curious about what type of questions that you are going to ask or are they active or they, are they not actively listening to you. Uh, so it makes you understand that is your PowerPoint being boring or people are interested so they are genuinely answering your questions. So to get those instant quiz questions based on your PowerPoint slides for free, we are going to use a ClassPoint plugin that you can download and install ClassPoint at ClassPoint.io and once that's done, it will go right into your PowerPoint ribbon and you guys can sign in and get access to all the features to make your presentations interactive. ClassPoint will also add a toolbar when you enter your presentation mode which is where you guys can see that there is this AI quiz writer option and that is really great. So once the first step of downloading class point is taken care of, we can go ahead and start making that AI quiz. So here I have a pre-made slide deck already for the class, but I do want to ask my students some question to get them warmed up and test their knowledge of what they know and the faces of the moon before we get started. And then we can also go ahead and add some AI questions from throughout our presentation to use at the end of the review and test their understanding from throughout the lesson. So to get started, let's use one of our beginning slides to get some questions. And before doing that, I just want to have a small talk with you. So nowadays you all might know that AI has taken over the world in just a short span of time and millions of people have lost their jobs and a lot of people have been laid off and whatnot. And I believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, I can, I, well, I can assure you that an AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will surely. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, so join our 3 hour AI tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill yourself, increase your productivity and also enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now and let's continue the video. So to get some questions based off on our presentation and to do that we'll enter our presentation mode and from here we only need to click on the AI button on the class point toolbar and then go ahead and generate a question but there are some different options here that you can set your different format of your question so you guys can see what that we have is that we have multiple choice fill in the blanks and short answer questions type i'm just going to use a multiple choice and then we can go ahead and choose our assessment level based on the bloom's taxonomy and set which level we want to click outside the box and then generate your question the ai will read your slide and come up with a question based on the option that you set and you didn't even have to think about the question you want to ask even if you don't love the look of this first question you can so you can always go ahead and generate another one and if that one and if that one looks good we can go ahead and check the answer and insert it as a slide don't worry we will remove this correct answer back in the edit mode and before beginning the presenting to our student but let's go ahead and add some other questions so while doing this i just want you to know that you should keep a, also a check you don't need to just fully trust the ai there might be some glitches but it's a good habit that you don't need to research a lot you will directly get the answers from your content so before correcting the uh, so before hiding the right answer let us go ahead and add some other questions to use for that review and at the end of the lessons and let's choose some different slides throughout our presentation so the way that we are getting tested on different parts of the lesson so this is so on this one let's set our options to fill in the blanks and short answer instead and then we'll do create and evaluate for our assessment levels now and then we'll do a create and evaluate for our assessment levels now and we can go ahead and generate the questions here we can check this correct answer looks good so i'm going to save this one as a slide and i'm going to add two more questions 
to pick once we have all those questions inserted let's go ahead and just back in powerpoint edit mode so the first thing let's move down the questions that we have in the middle of our presentation to the end so that we have the fun review at the end so we have three uh, question and then let's not forget to remove all of our answers here in the slide because that is really important otherwise the children would know the answer and the quiz would not make any sense and your and even this little hard work of yours that has been reduced due to this plugin would also get wasted because then the answers would be visible to everyone so you just need to remove all of your answers here in our slide and then you guys are ready to ask these questions during your presentation or you can use class fund interactive quiz questions to get live responses from from them so so you can also use class fund interactive quiz question options get live responses from them and to do that you just have to match the quiz question with the button on the slide so this was one of our fill in the blanks option and as you can see the side panel is auto populated with the correct answer that we had so this works with our fill in the blanks and ends with that and with that multiple choice and that we have up there at the end of the beginning so we have our number of choices and the correct answers already so just don't forget to remove the correct answer and now you guys are ready to begin receiving those live responses and now you are ready to begin receiving those live responses from your students right during your presentation guys this is how you can generate an ai quiz in powerpoint and this plugin can really help you to generate these quizzes and also can help you make your teaching interesting and more better and students would also grab a really good knowledge when they know that there are some interesting quiz questions that would be included in the ppt and guys that is it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you like the video don't forget to leave a like drop a comments if you have any doubts we'll try to answer them and also don't forget to subscribe b10x and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye and take care